What's up guys? Boy the Fell Handed here bringing you another amazing game. Here we are on Malinovka Rain Standard Battle in the VK45B Tier 9 Road to the Moss. Okay. Now, in some of my previous episodes you will hear me say a lot, well, you know what, if you don't like the way combat's going, eh, hey, just get the fuck out. Good idea on paper, okay? Not so easy to execute in real life, okay? You're in this tank. You're not going to be making surprise appearances all over the goddamn place. This fucking thing takes off like a herd of turtles, okay? Very tough to deal with frontally. Do not shoot the lower plate. One of the strongest lower plates in the game. 325 plus millimeters. Effective armor. Upper is like 279. Ah, fuck. Who knows? It's a number. Go for the machine gun ports if you can see the hole. If you can see the turret, go for the commander's hatch or load hatchets. Shoot beside the gun. Good tank. Okay. Has the... Gun of the E75, the 128, 246 pin, 490 damage. Keep in mind, that's average. Good gun, okay? Um, slow as fuck. Okay, this is really when you step into the shoes of the Moss and learn a little bit what that tank's about, okay? You look at the fucking the shot timer up there on top. It's, it's a clock, I know. I called a shot timer. Go fuck yourself. You look at the fucking clock, and you realize it, you know, literally takes me two minutes, two and a half minutes to get in the fucking position. Okay. That's not going to change. This is a extremely situational tank. You know, if you go to one area, and you try to hold it alone, and you're outnumbered, you're going to get touched. The side armor is not that impressive. However, you can side scrape with this. Don't over angle is the watchword for the day. I see guys, you know, and they, I guess they think they're in a fucking E100. You ever notice the really good E100 drivers turn that bitch damn near sideways? Okay. You turn this tank sideways, you will take rounds in the fucking side of the tank. E100 has the massive, massive spaced armor, which is 60 extra millimeters. This does not have that. Okay. So don't make that mistake now as I pull up here okay a good two minutes and 30 seconds into the game this is why I preach mediums but you know heavy tanks as well have their uses you can't just go up and, and start slinging in a medium tank you know you're gonna get touched pulling up here you're gonna go hold down okay which is the right move to do you know, th this guy moves out of my way. That's a really G move because most of the time you don't see that. People will fucking block you on purpose. Props to that fucking guy. Now, I'm pulling up here. They have a sizable contingent pushing this hill. They've got an IS. Um, they have a couple of other things. There's a Jag Kitty at the bottom, which you know, can be very deadly in the right circumstances. If you're shooting at a 45B hull down, not so much. Pull up here, we've got an IS. Gonna go ahead and try to get a couple shots in him. I think there's a dead tank or, or there's some shit in my way, regardless. There's something in my way. Go ahead and back up. You never just wanna sit there while you're reloading and be like, hey, you wanna go ahead and shoot at me? You want to give, you want to present a target to the enemy as little as possible. Now, I'm probably not fully hold down at this point. Yeah, I hit his right side, um, or excuse me, his left side, super angled, which is pretty much an auto bounce. I should have aimed um, for his right side, my left. Um, at any rate, you don't want to give up shots, I guess is what I'm saying. Like right here, I am not fully hold down. I am attacking a Jag Kitty. So far, he's bouncing off of me. This is, I was going to shoot the Chinu. This is a dangerous tank to leave alive, the Jag Kitty. If you leave him alive, he will just DPM the fuck out of you. You don't want that. Granted, he doesn't do that much damage, but you, you know, at the same time, you don't want to be fucking DPM. So, you have to keep an eye on those tanks because they are fucking the most OP tier 8, in my opinion. 
I haven't, well, you know, I take that back. I have ran the T-59. Wasn't really that crazy about it. Didn't really seem that maneuverable. I know I'm probably going to get hate mail from that. But, you know, I haven't ran it that much. I don't really run non-10s. I'm not a big fan of, of premiums at all. I just bought them to complete my German collection. So, go fuck yourself. Now, when I do buy the Panther 88, eh, we will have a video on that because that tank looks sexy. Trying to land a shot right here at the end. End up tapping him. They're on the run. They ran down the hill. You know, they're they're in full panic mode. Circle the wagons. Oh my god, my asshole's about to get touched. You know, he's coming through and he's going to hit me with his three-finger hefe ring. Uh, so, you know, you've got these guys who are in trouble and they are mainly posted up past their spawn. And, you know, they're, they're just fucked, dude. I mean, we have a fucking army coming down this hill. Like, whatever inroads you were making into the few tanks we had going down the other flank, that shit is over, okay? We're going up inside you, and we're not being pretty about it, all right? You know, you're, you're, getting, you're getting stuck in the face before we go up in you, that type of situation. So, moving up here... And even downhill, this thing is not going to break any records. The moss is even worse than that. You know, loading a high X here. Hoping I can get a good round off at uh, one of these thin skin tanks. You never know. Um, I, I don't really preach high X unless you're fighting something that is just tough as fucking nails. Like a like an IS-7 or an E3 hull down. Um, high X will fuck you. It, it will either do really well or really not well. And as you see, I hit the side of that tier 9 waffle. It didn't do that fucking hot. Um, you know, so, so, I mean, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't depend on it, I guess is what I'm saying. Right there, it did pretty well. Ended up cooking him. Um, so, you know, that's good. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, Tristan Horner was the winner of the $10 subway card. Please message me on XBL. Or post your gamer tag below, and I will message you, get you the card, get your address. What the fuck ever, man? I'll get it up in you. Okay? I'll just I'll fu I'll fucking go outside and I'll throw the bitch, and you'll you'll fucking it'll be in your driveway. Okay, guys, that's all I have. Please subscribe, like my videos, share my shit. Any requests, please let me know. And please remember, I love you all in the gayest way possible.